If you're looking for an oil that will heal, moisturize, and protect your curly hair, skin, and nails, then this is the perfect recipe for you. Today, we are creating a DIY urban-fused oil that will not only take care of our physical bodies, but also brings about a feeling of overall wellness. If you're new, hello my love, welcome, my name is Michelle, subscribe and hit that bell for more DIY videos just like this one. Let's get into it. The first herb we'll be using is calendula and this is a skin healing herb that works very well to pamper hair, skin, and nails and because of its anti-inflammatory properties, it is perfect for anyone that may be experiencing chronic skin conditions on the scalp and the body. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you'd know that I use marshmallow root for so many of my DOIs because of how healthy it keeps my hair. But marshmallow root is also a plant-based form of hyaluronic acid, which can help to increase the skin's ability to hold on to moisture, creating a plumping effect to the skin. Lavender is amazing for so many reasons, but my favorite would have to be the calming effect the aroma has for me. It's well known for calming the nervous system and bringing a sense of overall wellness just from how it smells. But it also works great for soothing and healing the skin as well as stimulating healthy hair growth. All the herbs I use can be found in the description box with links, so don't forget to check that out. In a clean dry jar, I'm continuing to layer in my herbs, pressing it down to push some of the air out and to ensure it will be easier to completely cover the herbs with the oil. The oil we'll be using to infuse the herbs is grapeseed oil. It has a neutral scent and a very lightweight feel. And this oil absorbs easily into the skin and hair and has a very low rating on the comedogenic scale, meaning it has a very low likelihood of creating breakouts on the skin. I've been using this oil for a while now and I can't say enough good things about how healthy it keeps my skin and hair. We're just gonna fill the jar completely and cover the herbs ensuring that they're fully submerged under the oil. And tightly cover the herbs with a little for the next step. Using a gentle heat allows the herbs to release their aroma and fully infuse into the oil. After the water has fully cooled, we are going to use the sun infusion method for the rest of the process. Shake the herbs really well and leave the jar on a very bright windowsill for at least 48 hours before extracting the oil. The longer you infuse the oil, the stronger and more potent its healing properties become. If you've got the patience, you can allow it to infuse for one to two weeks. Once it is done, I just extracted it using a fine mesh strainer and it should last you from three to six months. For my hair, I love to use this as a finishing treatment to scrunch the gel cast out of my hair after I style it, but feel free to use it as a hot oil treatment. You can use it as a pre-poo, the LOC method, the LCO method. Girl, the sky's the limit. You can use it for so many different things. I just love how fluffy my hair comes out and it has a little bit extra sheen when I do scrunch out the crunch with this oil. You can also use it as a nail conditioner because it's very good for growing out strong, healthy nails, preventing hangnails. It also conditions and heals the cuticles. It works best on damp skin, so fresh out the shower. It'll leave your skin so moisturized, soft, and smelling delicious. You could also use it as a massage oil to stimulate circulation in your body. And calendula in the oil is really good for the lymphatic system, and it helps to drain excess toxins and fluid out of the body. If you want to indulge and pamper yourself a little bit more, you can check out my DIY curl cream mask video next. Remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And as always, I'm sending you all the love, light, and good vibes, and I will see you in the next one.